a new YouGov poll finds belief in the supernatural to be surprisingly common in Britain. One in four British people believe that a house can be haunted by some kind of supernatural being, and almost as many think that ghosts actually exist. Thousands of people have even said they have seen or encountered a supernatural entity, suggesting that this phenomenon is very much real. However, science has other views. They believe that ghost sightings result in part from the power of suggestion. If you think you might see a spirit while entering an empty house at night, you're more likely to perceive an experience. For example, it may be something explainable like a cold breeze or a moving shadow, but those with a certain mindset will perceive that as a ghost. Another reason that many of us see ghosts is most of us don't want to tempt fate or disobey advice. For example, if someone is playing with a Ouija board, you're expecting something to happen. So once again, if a light breeze knocks over a lamp, those playing the game will see that as something being in the room. All cultures have beliefs related to spirits, luck, destiny, and a boogeyman who's out to get us. However, with that being said, what about when people capture alleged ghosts in pictures and videos? Over the years, thousands of pictures have been presented that shows these supposed ghosts. A large amount of them can be debunked as fate or illusions, but what about the ones that can't be so easily explained? This photo was taken by this woman's boyfriend when they first moved into their house. They discovered a guitar in the house and decided to take some pictures. After the photograph was developed, they noticed something strange. In the background, you can see what looks like a ghostly apparition sitting in the chair. After doing some research, they found out the man who'd previously lived there had passed away in the house. One of the strangest things is that when the man was alive, he was a fan of playing the guitar. Some have suggested the man returned because the couple picked up his guitar. One individual who saw the picture said she thinks she has seen her nan in the same position. She explains that her nan passed away in her house, and on some occasions she has seen a transparent figure sitting in the chair. She believes that her nan hasn't passed on to the other side, and still sits in her beloved chair. So going back to the photo, what do you guys think it is? Does it show a real ghost? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're someone who believes in ghosts, you're not alone. Many cultures the world over believe that something happens after you pass. Many believe that your spirit goes to another realm. In fact, ghosts are among the most widely believed of paranormal phenomenon. Millions are fascinated by ghosts, and a 2013 Harris poll found that 43% of Americans believe in ghosts. Many people who believe in ghosts do so because of some personal experiences. For example, they may have lived in an old home where they believe a ghost was present. One woman encountered something strange in her home, and decided to take this picture. She said the following, I took this one particular photo of my cat as he was sleeping funny, and I thought it was cute. In the hallway there is a black apparition, that is in no way a reflective image or a shadow of any objects in the way. The photo was taken on my iPhone 4 with no flash. The property that I reside in is over 100 years old, and I've experienced a lot of activity. I have many other photos of figures in the hallway and other phenomena taken around the house. The activity ranges from faces appearing in the mirror that I have on video, horrid smells such as sulfur, taps turning on, doors opening, footsteps in the hallway, voices banging, clapping, whistling, and lights turning on and off. Sometimes my cats become restless looking for something around the house, so what do you think these photos show? Let me know your theories in the comments. The type of entity this woman saw is a shadow person. Shadow people are said to be shadow-like creatures of supernatural origin which appear as dark forms. It's said that humans can't focus on them and when we try to, they move between walls. Reports of shadow figures are similar to ghost sightings, but differ in that shadow people are not reported as having human features wearing modern clothing or attempting to communicate. Witnesses also do not report the same feeling of being in the presence of something that was once human. Some individuals have described being chased, or even attacked by a shadow person. There have also been reports of shadow people appearing in front of witnesses, or lingering for several seconds before disappearing. Witnesses report that encounters are typically accompanied by feeling of dread. 
Most accounts of shadow people describe them as black humanoid silhouettes with no discernible mouse, noses, eyes, or any expressions whatsoever. The purported witnesses have also described child-sized humanoids or shapeless masses. Some reports also include glowing red eyes. Generally, they're described as lacking mass, though their specific nature varies from a two-dimensional shadow to a distorted three-dimensional form. Chillingham Castle is said to be home to the Blue Boy, Lady Mary, and many other apparitions. Chillingham retains them all because the castle's been unaltered ever since ancient bustling days. With all its beauty and calm, Chillingham Castle has seen many ghosts. Apart from Mary and her friends, the castle family lived exciting and romantic lives. They served kings but then, as William Shakespeare notes, they rebelled too. With a record 18 Knights of the Garter, the family also had no less than 8 famous well-recorded executions. A white pantry ghost in what is called the Inner Pantry, a frail figure in white still appears. The silver was stored here and a footman was employed to sleep here and guard it. Historically, one night when the footman had turned into sleep, he was visited by this woman in white. She was very pale and begged him for water. Thinking it's one of the castle's guests, he turned to obey. Suddenly, he remembered he was locked in and no visitor could have possibly entered. This same pale figure is seen today, and it's thought the longing for water suggests poisoning. Not all of Chillingham Castle's ghosts are those we see. Some are merely felt as impressions on the air. This is the sense of something unseen yet distinctly moving. It can be a chill dark creeping sensation or maybe just an oppressive atmosphere. Besides the Great Hall, the voices of two men are often heard talking. It's never possible to follow their words, and they stop talking if one makes serious efforts to trace them. The moonlight casts the shadows of the battlements across the worn flagstones, and it's not hard to see the shades and shadows come to life. While visiting this ancient castle of her son, a woman decided to take a photograph of him playing in the background. She was shocked to discover a dark phantom lurking behind him with his back to the camera. The woman said that no one was there while the photo was being taken. This isn't the first time that this dark phantom has been witnessed. Many people over the years have come forward stating they have seen the same thing. One witness said the following, I took my nan here as we live close by. After walking around we decided to stop and have a bite to eat. While doing this I had the impression we were being followed. After carrying on, every so often I would see a black mass in the corner of my eye. I had no idea what this thing was and it made me feel uncomfortable. After this we left shortly after. In this photo we can see a woman snapping a picture of herself. Everything looks normal until you see the figure standing to the right of her. Not much information has been released but we can see what looks like a pale faced figure standing behind her. One witness said the following about the encounter. I have seen many photos like this before, and I think it's real. Whether you call it a ghost, I think these things are trying to communicate with us. That's why sometimes people will see objects move. They're trying to get our attention. In my old house, we had a ghost that would close doors and move objects on the table. We later found out that a person had passed away in the house. I think the person that passed on was trying to let me know they were still in the house. Another witness who viewed the photo had this to say. I think this is a demon. The way it looks and the way it's standing is very menacing. The eyes are also lifeless. Sometimes with normal hauntings you can make out features of a loved one. But all I can see in this picture is emptiness. A 2015 survey by Chapman University found that more than 40% of Americans believe places can be haunted. Ghosts and hauntings seem to be a relatively common part of the human experience, and there appear to be several types of ghosts or hauntings, and more than one theory might be needed to explain them all. The traditional view of ghosts is that they are the spirits of people that for some reason are stuck between this plane of existence and the next, often as a result of some tragedy or trauma. Many ghost hunters and psychics believe that such earthbound spirits don't know they're dead. Occasionally, someone will have a one-time encounter of the ghost of someone they knew who's recently passed away. 
many skeptics believe that haunting experiences are the products of the individual's mind. Ghosts they say are a psychological phenomenon. We see them because we expect to or want to see them. A grieving widow sees her husband because she needs to. She needs the comfort of knowing that he is alright and happy in the next world. Her mind produces the experience to help itself cope with the stress of the loss. Since we know so little about the power and capacity of our own minds, it's possible they can even produce physical manifestations, such as apparitions, noises and even projections. So what do you guys make of this photo? Does it show a real paranormal entity? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All over the world you will find tales of mysterious creatures. One such creature is the Banshee. Those who aren't aware of what exactly a Banshee is is a female spirit. They're known for having a spine-chilling scream. According to Irish legend, Banshees appear at a home when the person is due to pass away. The Banshee is normally described as looking like a hag or a beautiful woman. They wear shadowy grey cloaks or silvery shrouds over red or green dresses. Their hair is normally a bright colour and their eyes can be red. Banshees may seem scary, but they have no record of haunting humans. Their dark appearance probably comes from the tragedy of their own lives. Over the years, people have claimed to have witnessed this alleged creature. Someone in India believes they may have actually captured the spirit on film. The individual who caught the Banshee image is chosen only to identify themselves as a singer in Pakistan. The image shows an odd looking woman with her hair on her face sitting on a rooftop. According to the singer, they stated the woman looked like a female demon. This creature is said to be feared by those in South Asia. Many people have come forward with personal stories about these entities. One witness said the following. I live in India and I have seen one of these creatures. I live near a wooded area which gets really dark at night. When I was young I would walk through this dense wooded area, and it was during one of these nights I witnessed the creature. The creature I encountered looked like a small woman. She also looked old and weak. As I made my way home this elderly woman spoke to me asking where I was going. When I told her I noticed that she didn't look normal. She had really red eyes and spoke in a creepy manner. I managed to quickly walk away and return home. However, over the next few months I kept seeing this elderly woman in the woods. I tried my best to avoid her as she gave off an eerie vibe. Then one day I noticed that she had disappeared. I haven't seen her to this day. I believe that she was one of those creatures. However, the image has been met with skepticism. There are those that believe the photo isn't that of a demon, suggesting that it's simply a woman sitting on a roof. But there are those who say that the singer did indeed capture something on film. Some have suggested that these creatures are elusive but every so often they do get caught out. So what do you guys make of this image? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. A family holiday photo has turned into a mystery after what looks like a ghostly apparition appeared in the background. The mysterious figure was spotted after the family checked their photographs from an Easter holiday getaway. They was enjoying a day out at Round Hay Park near Leeds. After taking some photos of the scenery they headed back home. When the family looked back at some of the photographs something didn't look right. Two of the children were posing in front of an old building, but it wasn't just the children in the photograph. A mysterious looking person also appears. The father of the children said he was shocked when he first saw the picture. It appears to show an adult wearing a cloak walking up the stairs with their arms outstretched. The father went on to say the following. I don't like watching scary films, and I don't like looking at this photo. It's spooky as there was no one there. My sister took the photograph and she saw it first. The castle isn't too old but who knows who lived there before. We were taking lots of pictures. Because people were standing on the steps and walking around, we waited for them to move before we took a picture. We waited and waited for a clear point when no one was there as they wanted to hold their hands together. That's why we're sure that no one was there. 
but didn't think anything of it and took a few more. Then when we got home and looked at the photos, we saw this thing in the back that wasn't there before. My sister thinks it's a ghost. I've started to think it might be. There was definitely no one there when I took the picture. Kevin Grady, director of Leeds Civic Trust states this was the first time ghoulish activity had been recorded at the site. Dr. Grady said the following. Originally, there was a wooden roof on top so there was an upper room which the Nicholas family would use. The folly was used as a family house, a sewing room by the girls and they had social functions there. Others have suggested that the photo shows what it looks like, a woman in a dress. However, others who have visited the site have said that sometimes it carries an eerie feeling. One woman said she was walking around the land with her daughter when she suddenly said a woman kept waving at her. When the woman went to investigate, no woman could be found. The daughter described the woman as having a long dress and a white face. Bodmin Jail has a dark past. This combined with its paranormal activity has made it popular with tourists and ghost hunters. This eerie 18th century stone building was built in 1776 to house the county prison. It was the first jail to hold inmates in individual cells and famously carried out public executions by hanging. This Victorian prison was also home to the Crown Jewels, the Doomsday Book and other national treasures during the Great War. The prison's paranormal background has brought it to the attention of many paranormal investigators, and over the years people from all over the world have explored the jail. The prison finally closed in 1927, and since then has become a popular tourist attraction. Over the years, people have experienced cold spots, black shadows, and even being hit by unseen forces. Ghost hunter Tony Ferguson firmly believes that he captured a genuine ghost. The chilling photo shows a tall dark figure looking directly at the camera. He claims the apparition is that of William Hampton. Hampton was the last person to be hanged at the prison in 1909. Tony along with his wife set their camera down and left it filming. Without even knowing it, they'd positioned the camera in such a way that it captured this picture. They're certain the photo shows a ghost. Moments before this photo was captured, Tony called out the name William. This was because he noticed a plaque with the name William embedded in it. Shortly after doing so, the apparition appeared. Tony said the following. I couldn't believe it. I have investigated many locations and seen many things, but never seen activity like this. I can't explain it. It really shocked me and it doesn't normally happen. I don't normally get freaked out or scared. I always try to remain skeptical about what I witness and try to debunk whatever I capture, but I do think this is a real haunting. There are lots of residual spirits trapped there in the jail. He doesn't acknowledge those who see him which makes me think it's a residual haunting. It was just by chance that we'd put the camera down there and captured the moment he walked through. We weren't able to debunk anything when we returned the next night. So what do you make of these pictures? Do you think they show a real ghost? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Another witness said the following after visiting the jail. I went here with a few friends, and after setting foot inside the jail immediately felt like I wasn't alone. While walking around I kept getting out of breath. What was strange is that it wasn't just me experiencing these things. My friends said the same as well. After looking around for 10 minutes, I began to feel pain on my thigh. After getting home and checking it, it looked like someone had pressed their thumb into my leg. The whole experience really freaked me out, and I'm never going back again. A trail camera is usually placed on private property, or in woodland where the photographer generally cannot be. Remote cameras can be fired via hand triggers, sound triggers, radio transmitters, or the self-timer built into the camera. A game camera or a trial camera records images, either as a still photograph or a video. This photo was taken in northern Georgia on a wildlife camera. It's been passed around various websites with readers suggesting what it could be. Some believe that it shows an angel while others think it's a ghost. The individual who owns the camera said they thought it was human but after going to the location where the picture was taken, there was no signs of it being a human. The land around that area is quite remote, and it also gets muddy, but after looking around, the individual couldn't find signs that a human was trespassing. 
so what do you think this is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.